So yesterday, Dana White walked off of Howie Mandel's podcast and said, I'm so fucking tired of doing these podcasts. So this was yesterday. This article is from today, but it happened yesterday. First thing we're going to do is we're going to watch the clip. So here's the clip of the uh, interaction. Dana White, you are an amazing guy. You are, I can't thank you enough for being here. Uh, you and Ginger seem to be getting along. Um, you are not only an amazing businessman, you are an inspiration, you are a philosopher. The way you do business, the way you uh, conduct your business and your friendships and media is, uh, I'm, I'm jealous. And But Dana, I can't thank you. So right there, I mean, he was fleecing him up completely just complimenting him some very kind words and then you hear that but and you think he's gonna go somewhere but he doesn't he doesn't howie mandel you know a very down-to-earth nice guy i'm not sure what his political views are or how he truly feels about dana white's political views but he didn't go there he didn't go there at all uh he says that but and then continues to be very kind thank you enough for being here thank you for all the kind words i appreciate it i, I am so fucking tired of doing podcasts it's I, I, i'm literally done with them i'm not doing any more podcasts dana white and then just leaves Nothing's been said. So this happened yesterday. I saw this last night. Here's the article. Uh, sorry. Here's the article. Here's the article from today. Dana White might not be available for any podcast bookings anytime soon. The UFC CEO shocked host Howie Mandel on the popular television uh, personalities podcast, abruptly walking out of the show before the interview had even started. So there's a clip that we just watched. The podcast started... Uh, with the longtime America's Got Talent judge praising White's business acumen and thanking him for being on the show. Dana White, you're an amazing guy, is everything we just uh, we just heard in the video. White thanked Mandel for the compliments before saying that he was effing tired of doing podcasts, removing his headset, and then walking out. So I did a little deep dive to see if there was anything um, if there was anything said or any kind of news, some clarity on this interaction and there's nothing both of their instagrams are vacant as far as the interaction from yesterday so here's dana white's uh twitter did i say instagram i meant twitter uh here's dana white's twitter where he's not saying anything here's howie mandel's twitter 18 hours ago with john stamos nothing Nothing. So I don't know if Dana was upset at the comments where he said you and Ginger are getting along. I'm not sure if that guy with the ginger beard, uh, if him and Dana White don't get along, if Dana was like surprised or thrown off at the fact that this guy was there. I don't know. There's nothing. There is nothing that is explaining why Dana White did this. Why did Dana White even show up? Why did he sit down, put on the headset, and then decide in the very beginning after Howie Mandel gave him all these compliments that Dana White's like, you know what? I'm done. But a few days ago, uh, a few days ago, Dana White was on the Full Send podcast. And this was kind of like the reunion with Bob Mennery. So about two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago, Bob Mennery left the Full Send podcast. Him and Kyle had some beef. Uh, I guess there's a lawsuit going on. I don't I don't fucking know. But Bob Mennery joined joined back in. And here's a little clip. We We won't play the whole clip. Maybe we will. But this is just kind of like a clip where Dana White is completely just telling Bob Mennery off. So we'll take a little listen to this clip right here. Bob Mennery is absolutely fucking delusional. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting fucked. I'm getting nothing. I did, we did tremendous work for you. With the fucking but you're making for, a but shit ton of money. You stopped showing up. And then you just blasted me on social media. Incorrect. There's not one thing that I gave you my word on that I did not promise. I introduced you guys. If you guys didn't get introduced, you guys wouldn't be now, making whoa, 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 doing any of these whoa, whoa, fucking no, deals. No, 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 I mean, when you work to build something for 10 years, we and like someone tries to burn that down, it's a different type try of to burn like, it down. feeling. Do you think we yes. needed you no, to no, introduce us? No, but listen. But you did. And you never Shut the fuck up about it, and it was so annoying I get it. that I gave you fifty thousand dollars and said, "Correct." Shut the fuck up. So, 
so there you go. There's like a little snippet of it. So Bob Menery was trying to take ownership and I guess responsibility for the one that he brought Dana White and Kyle and the full send guys together. He introduced them, which Dana pretty much said uh, in the show that whether you introduced us or not, we would have met anyway and we would have been good friends and had a good relationship anyway. Were you the one that introduced us? Maybe. But even if you didn't, it was probably only a matter of time before we did meet. And I gave you $50,000 for whatever reason. And Bob Menery, I don't know. I'm a fan of Bob Menery. I mean, I know he's gone off the deep end a few times. He's constantly going through this vicious cycle of I'm going to quit doing drugs, then back on the drugs, and quit doing drugs, and back on the drugs. And I think we all know that Bob Menery's drug of choice is the cocaine, the cocaine, the cocaina. Uh, so Bob Menery, he's gone through that cycle of getting clean and going back on the drugs and getting clean. I don't know what the whole deal was with why Menery left the Full Send podcast, but anyways, that's besides the point. I don't know if Dana was exhausted from that interaction, from that podcast, from the Full Send podcast a few days ago. But he was on a Howie Mandel show yesterday and walked off. Just walked off. And you can see by uh, Howie Mandel's reaction. Let's take another look. This is when Dana walked off. Look at Howie Mandel's reaction. Now, I don't know if this was a bit. And this is fake. I have no clue. But there's been no follow-up. There's been nothing said about this from, from Dana White. Or Howie Mandel at all. Their Twitters are not saying anything about it. So who knows? Maybe we will get some more information on this whole ordeal with Dana walking off from the show. But uh, kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. So maybe we'll get some more news on this. Stay tuned for maybe a follow-up video. But uh, some interesting stuff. Dana White just walking off Howie Mandel's show. But anyways, what do you guys think about this interaction? Leave your thoughts and comments down in the comment section below. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Share with a friend who you think would enjoy it. Subscribe to this channel if you're new. And we'll talk to you again soon.